So I wanna build an unboxing desk. Basically all the unboxings that I've filmed have been right here on this little patch. It's, it's just not doing it. So if you're looking to build your own unboxing station or like a top down camera view, hopefully this video comes in handy. Ideally the desk isn't gonna be too big. It's not gonna take up too much space in my small room. It's gonna be able to be moved easily so I can move it around wherever I need it. And it's gonna be versatile so I can use it for top down unboxings or straight up talking head YouTube videos. So hopefully you fall in the same category and you wanna build a desk similar to this. Let's do it. So let's talk over the materials that we're gonna use to build this desk. The tabletop. So this is the 47 by 23 like Captain from Ikea. You've probably seen this in a million other setups. I found this in the as is section, which is basically someone just returned it, but there's literally nothing wrong with this thing. Like it looks pretty much brand new. So my tip, when you go to Ikea, check out the as is section, see what they got. Maybe they'll have what you need. So, so far, 25 bucks. You know, we should probably have like a counter up here or over here that's like the cost for this build. Let's put it right here. So $25. Next, we have the legs, of course, from Ikea. These are the Adil's legs. Again, you've probably seen them in a bunch of other setups, but we're gonna add something to these legs that's gonna make this whole desk move a lot easier. I wanna say these go for 750. There it is, if that'll focus in, 750 each. So not too bad, 30 bucks for four legs. So, so far we're up to $55. Next we have the Bicant caster legs. So we're gonna throw these in the bottom of the legs to make the whole desk move. Again, from Ikea, 20 bucks for four of them. So we're up to $75. Also, don't worry, I'm gonna have all these materials down below in the description so you can easily build this desk if you want. All right, so now for the important part of mounting the camera. So to do that, we have the mount itself and also this little reinforcement bracket. Because as you know, the Ikea tables aren't exactly the sturdiest. So this will hopefully stop us from like destroying the desk when we screw down the clamp too hard. I picked up the reinforcement bracket for 20 bucks on Amazon and then the overhead camera rig for 72. So that brings our total to $147. That's not too bad. So this mount should be able to give us a really nice top-down view when I'm doing unboxings, uh, sort of like this. Like, see how nice this view looks? So let's quickly unbox a few items from the Ridge Wallet, the sponsor of this video. Right now, you can get the best offer by visiting ridge.com slash Drigzy, and you can save up to 40% through December 22nd. It's an insane deal, and it's seriously perfect for last-minute holiday shopping. So this is the Ridge Wallet in Forged Ember. It comes with a screwdriver that allows you to take out these screws and you can replace the cash strap that's included with a money clip if that's more your style or you can replace the cash strap if it ever gets damaged with one that's included speaking of which these wallets come with a lifetime warranty so you pretty much never have to worry about this thing breaking impressive i know you can also pick up an air tag carbon case which allows you to add an air tag to your ridge wallet so it'll never go missing the Ridge Wallet holds up to 12 cards plus cash, so you can take your old bulky wallet and transform it into something that's way more pocketable. I've been using the Ridge Wallet for over a year now, and I don't think I could ever go back to a traditional wallet. Like, it's so good, and I'm not just saying that because they're paying me. I love this thing. Ridge also sent over one of their sleek new key cases, which holds two to six keys and keeps them nice and snug so they don't rattle around. I'm personally a fan of the pocket clip and how it kind of just clips into the inside of your pocket and how it matches my wallet. But if Forged Ember isn't your style, there are over 30 options to choose from, so I'm sure you can find something out there that you like. Ridge also makes one of the nicest pens I think I've ever written with. Like, no, seriously, like, it's really nice. <laughs> it's titanium and has this like really sweet ball action lever, I don't know, it's, it's really satisfying to click. Awesome pen. Ridge also makes really high quality backpacks. This is the commuter backpack. It's waterproof, has a ton of space, a nice padded laptop pocket, and RFID blocking pockets as well. The Ridge website can honestly be your one-stop shop this upcoming holiday. So make sure you visit the link ridge.com slash Drigzy and save up to 40%. Remember that goes until December 22nd. Thank you so much to Ridge for sponsoring this video. And let's get back to building this unboxing desk. So first things first, let's put together the desk itself. I'm sure 99% of you watching this have built an Ikea desk before, but each leg comes with a mounting base and a set of screws that just screw into the pre-drilled holes of the desktop. And then the legs themselves screw into the mounting base. Three more. Okay, so the table's fine. Like, it'll do its job. It, it'll be a table. But I have a feeling once I attach this mount on here, I'm definitely gonna want a way to move it easier. Like, yeah, you totally could just like pick it up and move it, but we don't want that. We're not cavemen. We have the technology. Hold up, this light is way too bright. 
These are way bigger than I thought they would be. So here they are. They honestly might be too big. I guess we'll find out. But the good thing about these is they have a locking mechanism. So you will be able to lock the desk in place and it won't move right there. All right, so let's attach these to the underside and see how it looks. All right, so hopefully this just unscrews. Okay, perfect. And now these guys should just screw right in. And the wheels also come with a little wrench so you can just get in there and really tighten it down if you have to. Perfect. All right, let's do this three more times. So it's a little bit taller than I thought it would be. I thought the wheels were the same ones that are already on my Alex dresser right here. Um, yeah, no, these, these are big guys. These are big ones. Oh boy. I think we're just going to roll with it though. Yeah, no, this, <laughs> that's not going to work. Okay. So let's take off $20, uh, from the $147 and who needs wheels, right? <laughs> No, but I'm totally gonna buy other wheels later on. Um, I guess I'll update the description with the wheels that I settle on. Hi, uh, Driggsy from the future. <laughs> so we have replacement wheels. So I picked these up off of Amazon. Um, they're M8 threaded, so they should just thread right onto the bottom of the legs. And they have this really big locking mechanism right here that's really way easier to engage than the other, the Bicant wheels. Um, so let's throw these on and see how much it raises the desk. Hopefully it's not too much. Before and after. Not bad. Yes. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> so as I was taking off one of these wheels, I stepped on the desk. I heard some crunching under my foot. I said this is gonna be a good unboxing table. Not necessarily the sturdiest, but a good cheap unboxing table. But it was a perfect example of why I got this the Vivo reinforcement bracket. Like, yeah, it was basically the cost of the tabletop, but it's gonna protect the desk from cracking when we go and mount the camera mount to the table. We don't wanna ruin this nice surface. Ooh, this is exciting. This is like the first unboxing. You get some instructions, the clamp itself, and then the bottom side of the clamp. Oh, that's nice. So you can peel this off and then stick it to the back so it protects the surface even more. That's nice. So it'll go something like this. Take this, put that there, and then you take this piece and just clamp it under there when you go to mount your mount. I think this piece right here can come in handy for like anyone looking to mount a computer monitor stand to their Ikea tabletop for sure, definitely. Okay, and now for the actual camera mount itself. So when I was choosing a mount, I was originally gonna get the Elgato master mount, but I stumbled upon a YouTube video where someone described that they had issues with the master mount holding their camera. If I'm gonna be spending $80 specifically for an overhead view, I wanna make sure it can hold my camera and, and hold it there nice and steady, right? So I stumbled upon another YouTube video, which I'll link all these down below in the description. And this person found this mount and just looked so sturdy and they gave it a really good recommendation. So I figured I'd go for it. All right, so this is cool. We actually get a lot of things in here. We get a ball mount. It's actually way nicer than I thought it would be. I was expecting it to be really flimsy and cheap. It's not the best quality, but it's not the worst. We get a, what is this? Looks like a phone mount. Yeah. Honestly, not bad. Oh my God, it came with a quick release plate that again, like the quality isn't the best, but it's not the worst. It's made out of metal too, it's not plastic. That's good. All right, so here's the actual mount itself. So I think if you have a monitor mount, you might be familiar with this design. Super rigid, you know, it's not gonna give you any sort of crazy flexible views, but it's gonna give you that nice overhead shot, which is what we want. So this piece right here will attach to the actual mount that goes on the desk. And then right here is where we'll attach our camera. So this looks like the mount to the desk that we're gonna use. We have some Allen keys, we have some screws. The mount itself, which has a little piece of foam right here, so it's not gonna damage your desk. That's nice. And then the clamp that goes on the bottom side of the desk. 
And last but not least, Woo! these are the poles. All right, let's throw this on the desk. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is remove these two screws here. Let's just take those out. Then we can throw this bracket right on top of it, line up the holes and then screw right down. And then we're gonna take our reinforcement plates and sandwich that right in the middle. Okay, something missing here, the pole. <laughs> Whoops. All right, so you definitely have to screw the pole onto the mounting bracket before you actually put it on the desk. I figured I'd be able to screw it in after, but no. Nope, that's not the case. Okay, let's unscrew this. Yeah, I guess that explains the extra screws. Okay, we're, we're doing this. We're doing this together, YouTube, you and me. We're making mistakes together. This is fun. If you enjoy seeing these mistakes, documented, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more mistakes in the future. <laughs> so we have these three screws right here and we're just gonna throw them in here and screw the pole to the mounting bracket. Okay, one, two, three screws in. There we go, put this guy under here. Okay, let's just forget that the mess up happened. Moving on. All right, so now we can put the actual camera mount on there. Okay, cool. Nice. So then this way, now we have this really nice articulation of the arm, but it should be strong enough that it's gonna actually hold a camera. Ooh, one thing you wanna look out for, if you have this too tight and you start to move this, it's gonna unscrew the pole here, so be careful of that. Then we have this screw. It should go under here, and then you can just throw the ball mount on there like that. And last but not least, we can throw the quick disconnect on there. Ooh, okay, so this piece right here, where the ball mount attaches to the quick plate, that piece right there is plastic, so I'm afraid of that breaking eventually. So maybe this ball mount would have to be replaced with something else. That's something to look out for. As long as you don't over tighten it, I bet it'll be fine. All right, so this is the final product. I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. For under $150, we have a perfect unboxing overhead shot view workstation that doesn't take up too much space. It gives me the exact amount of space that I hopefully think I'll need to make these unboxings. I'm really happy with this mount. Uh, it's super sturdy. Like, yeah, this was definitely the move. I'm really happy I got this over the Elgato mount. Like I can really pull down on this and it's barely flexing, so that's good. And actually, you know what? Let's throw the camera on here right now just to see what it looks like. Okay, so it's not Arca Swiss compatible, but no worries. I have an extra Arca Swiss quick mount plate that I'm just gonna quickly throw onto here. And now you'll be able to just go right here and screw right in. And then I can just do all of my unboxings straight down like this, like the classic style. Oh, that's nice. By the way, you're getting a sneak peek right now. This is the Ampere Jetpack, which I haven't even unboxed yet. It's pretty cool. It's a little MagSafe battery. Future Driggsy chiming in again. So you're probably gonna wanna mount the mount on the left or right side of the table. So that way you have all the surface area to do your filming on. Uh, and you also don't have to worry about the reinforcement bracket getting in your shot. Okay, carry on. All right, so I'm really happy with the way this turned out. It's literally everything that I needed for this unboxing or overhead shot workstation. Uh, if you're looking to build one yourself, all the links are gonna be down in the description below. Those are all gonna be Amazon affiliate links. So you're gonna be helping support the channel if you purchase any of those products through those links. And if you do build one, make sure to tag me on Instagram if you choose to post a picture online. Username is right here. I definitely wanna see all of your builds. But anyways, that'll do it. If you enjoyed this video, once again, don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button for more tech content in the future. Take care.